I had no idea. <laughs> but uh, it, yeah, so I, that's kind of my past. Um, but that summer, uh, after my freshman year, I wasn't in Humphreys Hall anymore. I was actually in a house off campus. Um, I was wrestling. And one of my best friends from back home died in a motorcycle accident. And uh, I was wrestling through everything. Because if this is true, if this Jesus thing is true, that means my buddy Mark is in hell. Because he's like me. And I was, I was struggling with that because I loved Mark. Mark was life of the party, fun guy to be around. Yeah, he was a heathen, but he was a fun heathen. And he loved everyone, and everyone loved him. But he was gone, and I was struggling with that. But then it hit me because some of my struggles with the whole gospel is I believe everything made sense, but it came down to one thing. Do you believe Jesus is who he said he was? Do you believe that he is the Son of God, and by his sacrifice he can cover all sins? That day, I realized it was true. It wasn't just for the big sins that I was struggling with, but it was for every sin. It was the fact that I was a sinner. It was the fact that Mark was a sinner. That we're all sinners. So that morning, Saturday morning, 2005, I prayed to God and thanked Him for the blood of Christ. And from that point forward, I realized one thing, though. The, the Christians that I had moved into for that summer because I, you know, I want to clean myself up a little bit to kind of be closer to God. That doesn't work, by the way. Um, they wanted to live with me because they knew I partied. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I was living with these Christians, and I, one thing I knew for sure, if I'm going to believe this, I'm all in. I'm not one foot in, one foot out. Because if this is true, then it's worth everything. And so that day was the beginning of my life. Uh, from that point forward, I, I called up my buddy Jason Pollock, and I was like, Jason, you lead the Bible study this year again. He's like, I don't know, man. I've been doing ministry with Stumo for the last three years. I'm kind of bored, tired from it. And I said, dude, I just became a believer. You're going to lead the Bible study, and I'm going to be in it. And he said, okay, I'll see what I can throw together. And it's unbelievable because I look back at this group and there are several guys who spent long term overseas who are in full time ministry stateside. One guy who's actually going, guys, he's actually in Papua New Guinea right now. And then another guy who's going to Papua New Guinea here in like a month. Like, that's unbelievable. That's the first Bible study I was ever in. That's where God placed me. It was pretty incredible. But. Uh, you know, I go through the student thing. I went to SMC that year, loved it. And then I went to Kaleo, uh, because that's what you do, right? Um, <laughs> I came to Kaleo as a participant. Jason was my D group leader. He was my Bible study leader, D group leader. And he was Jesus as far as I was concerned. And then I found out that he had sin. Uh, <laughs> I was really disappointed. <laughs> but, uh, but while we were here, uh, you guys haven't had the missions conference yet, but it's coming up, right? You guys excited? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, Todd Aaron, this is my Todd. Dave. <laughs> if one more missionary goes to Haiti, the island might sink. <laughs> Those of you who know Todd, love that. The rest of you are like, I have no idea what he's talking about. You'll get it here in a couple weeks. <laughs> So, uh, Todd was.